Hello, in this video we will see how to use the rbind and cbind functions in R. Matrix can also be formed used uh, by binding the two vectors and we will see how. Let's get started. So let's have, uh, let's create vector v1 as a sequence of elements 1 through 5 and vector v2 as sequence of elements 6 to 10. Now remember that the two vectors which we are using to bind and create a matrix should be either of equal length or the length of the bigger vector should be the multiple of shorter length vector. Also, binding can be either done column wise or row wise. Let's first see the column wise binding, and for that, we, we will use the function cbind and we will pass on these two vectors as the arguments v1, v2. And we see that we now have a matrix, and the matrix is formed by binding the two vectors we created above column wise so the first vector goes v1 goes in the first column and the second vector v2 goes in the second column it's it's column wise binding now if we want the uh, vectors um, uh, to uh, in the row binding fashion we can use r bind v1 comma v2 and we now see that we have a matrix with these two vectors but are row binded. This becomes very handy when we uh, work on data frames and and we have we have some observations we have in the form of a vector and um, um, we need to add the vector objects um, in the data frame either column wise or row wise so this becomes very handy.